Hi, this is Chris Shattuck with buildamodule.com, and in this video we're going to be covering some Ajax basics. So first of all, what we're going to do is demo an example script. I've put together something very simple that will demonstrate the basic techniques for Ajax application building. And next what I'll do is break this down according to what's actually happening inside of the script so you can see the steps involved. And next we'll take a look at the code itself and, and match up those steps with code. And finally we'll take a look at the limitations of this example script and what you'll want to do next and what we'll cover next in future videos regarding Ajax applications. So there's a couple things you should be familiar with before you watch this video. First of all, you should have a basic grasp of Drupal JavaScript behaviors, and you, if, you, if you don't have an idea what these are yet, go ahead and watch my video on buildamodule.com. It'll introduce you to the, the basic concepts and show you some examples. And secondly, you should understand what Ajax actually is. So while you don't need to know how to implement it, you need to understand that, that basically it's a way to dynamically grab content from a server and display it on a page, among other things. But that's just one, one of the functionalities for Ajax. So let's take a look at the example script real quick. So what I've done here is added a block to the left-hand column that just wraps around a function I've created inside of a custom module that I built. And we'll take a look at that code in just a second. But let me demonstrate the functionality that we're going for here. I'll go ahead and put my name in and then click Submit. And what will happen is this content will get passed to the server and then the server will build some additional content that gets passed back to the browser and then the browser slides down the content that gets returned to it. So let me go ahead and refresh the page to clear this. And then I want to demonstrate how you can watch what's going on behind the scenes and this is useful for debugging. So what I've done is installed the Firebug module or the Firebug plugin for Firefox and I'm going to go ahead and click the icon in the lower right hand corner to open up the console. I have the net tab Thank you for watching this preview from buildamodule.com. On our website, we offer a number of free videos, as well as several others that are available for a reasonable price. Come check us out.